All right, if you've been trying to track exactly what's happening in the real estate market, either in Austin, Texas, or in the surrounding suburbs, and today specifically that suburb that I'm talking about is Wimberley, you found the right channel. Guys, Chris Peshek, broker associate at Peshek Properties, living right here in Dripping Springs, Texas, just outside of Austin. And what I do in these videos is I give you all the knowledge that I'm getting directly from the MLS. So let's take a look at what's happening in Wimberley, Texas, as of April 9th, 2024. Here we go. If you've seen these videos before, guys, you know that Wimberley is just a little bit different market than the rest of the Austin area, uh, except for maybe Austin proper inside of the city limits, because Wimberley doesn't have a whole lot of new construction, and that's still continuing to be the case. Active listings are up to 170, that's up 22%, and the move-in ready homes are up to 146. So if you do the math there, there are 24 new construction homes in all of Wimberley. So if you're moving to Wimberley, what move to Wimberley and you want a new construction home, those are in very, very short supply, but the resale homes are, are really carrying the market down there. Um, under contract right now is up another 14% to 33 over the last month. And this is really indicative of a normal market for Wimberley. This is what I saw kind of pre-2018 all over the Austin area. So what we're not seeing are massive price reductions. And I know down here it says there's a big price reduction. Let me explain that real quick. Um, average days on market is also continuing to drop here. Again, that's what we should be seeing in March and April of the year, down um, 8% over last month. And here's that average sales price, guys. Okay, it's down to 676 um, 14 and it was up at around 740 last month. But the thing is with Wimberley, when you're only closing 13, 14, this month, 17 homes in an entire market, one house that sells for a million and a half to 2 million can really skew that number one month over the, over the next one. So what you're seeing in Wimberley a lot of times when you see these big swings in market value is just that maybe last month there was a big house that sold this month, not a big house sold. So that's why you see those wilder swings here in Wimberley. I will say that two out of the last six months in Wimberley, we have seen price appreciations and this drop this month did not give up all of the um, average sales price appreciation that we saw from the previous month. So just take that in, into account, little grain of salt there. You're going to see some wilder swings in this Wimberley market market. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with just the fact that there are quite a few high dollar homes out here and they tend to swing um, the, these averages quite a bit. So a little bit of a fallacy of the mean there. But at any rate, guys, this is what's happening in Wimberley, Texas. If you're somebody that's been trying to move into Wimberley from out of area, let me know um, if you've got specific questions on a house, a specific neighborhood in Wimberley, or maybe even one of the sub markets close to Wimberley like um, uh, uh, Fisher or Blanco or something like that. Guys, I'm more than happy to track down that information information for you. And if you're a home seller in Wimberley looking to get out for some reason, let me know. I'd love to tell you what I think your house might be worth and, and give you a realistic idea of what it would look like to sell in this market. But that is it for this, guys. Remember, if this is the kind of content that you're looking for, make sure you're subscribing to this so you can be the first person to find out when I put out new content because I'm rolling out three to five videos every week with content a lot like this. All right, we'll see you on the next video.